Hello everyone, my name is The Fox. It's a bit early to be talking about the GPD Win 3 in earnest, not entirely convinced a Win 3 could come out in 2019 or early 2020, but GPD recently made a post on their Facebook page talking about the Intel M3 8114Y. The important bits are that this will be a chip made using Intel's 10 nanometer node, RAM will switch from LPDDR3 to LPDDR4, and the GPU of the alleged HD715 will have 40 execution units, up from 24 execution units in the HD615, a 67% increase. Now, if frequencies stayed the same, and they are in the same architecture, which they probably are, that would net us a near 70% performance improvement in gaming. However, GPD is claiming it's only a 40% improvement in gaming, so frequency on the GPUs naturally have to be lower. All of this would be great, except Intel will not be coming out with 10 nanometer chips this year. All the news is regarding Intel chips that are absolute disasters. Intel's yields on 10 nanometer chips is so bad that even on small chip sizes, they have disabled the integrated GPU on them. And AMD is not happening. The only way AMD appearing in a Win 3 is if AMD made contact with GPD and assured them that they would help every step of the way. So what is coming out this year? Amber Lake Y series, which should be out by August and following Intel's naming schema, it will most likely be the 8Y30 and feature CPU clock speeds near 3 GHz and most likely another bump to GPU frequency, though the 50 MHz bump never actually made it from the 6Y30 to 7Y30. Here's the problem. It's still a 14 nanometer chip, so performance will be quite similar to the GPD Win 2 now. So where do we go now? Clearly the Win 2 CPU is hitting well above its weight class but the integrated Intel HD615 GPU is clearly holding back a lot of the performance that people are expecting. So that leaves us with taking a look at NVIDIA's 8 watt version of the MX150. Thankfully I do have a Xiaomi Air 13 that features the 8 watt version of the MX150 and I was able to view how much power the MX150 in a machine would take when playing games. In my test I had my machine plugged into mains and we can clearly see that the battery charge rate is at 35 watts. The charger itself is rated at 40 watts, so running the machine at idle with a display, fans, and quick sync enabled, my system is using nearly 5 watts of power. As we take a look at gameplay, we can see at the very least the total system draws 25 watts. I.e., the charger is giving 40 watts, but the system is drawing 25 watts, hence our charge rate is at 15 watts. Looking at Assassin's Creed and seeing that we are taking nearly 75% of the entire 2 gigabytes of GDDR5 RAM, we see power usage jumps up to 35 watts. Naturally, as we take more power, fans have to spin faster and more heat also means higher energy draw. Thankfully, during all of these tests, we can clearly see that the CPU in the Xiaomi Air uses nearly 16 watts itself. And if we continued using a 7Y30 or if GPD pivots to the 8Y30, CPU power is half that which would save us 8 watts by itself. Right now, we are still talking about the MX150. But there might be some hope that NVIDIA releases an MX250 built on a 7 nanometer node and using GDDR6. We could hit the same 700 gigaflops the 8 watt MX150 reaches, but using something more like 4 to 5 watts on the MX250. Essentially, this means that we'd be using a max of 25 watts for the entire system. LCD, fan, GPU, VRAM, system RAM, CPU, SSD, and while getting 700 gigaflops out of 20 to 25 watts would be insanely awesome, that would only get us a max of 2 hours of battery life if we were to be using the same size battery that's in the Win 2. The Win 2's battery being 40 watt hours. When using those numbers, realistically the battery size is going to need to grow at a minimum of 50% to a maximum of 100%, i.e. 15,000 milliamp hour or 20,000 milliamp hour batteries. To give an idea of size required for that in something like the Win 2, to hit 15,000 milliamp hour, you could keep the same overall dimensions but make the device thicker. To hit 20,000 milliamp hour and keep the overall device pocketable, there would have to be some very interesting design choices being considered. It's honestly not worth speculating in this type of video. So, will a Win 3 appear in 2019 or early 2020? I don't know. If GPD is banking on Intel hitting 10 nanometer, no way. There won't be a Win 3 until 2021. If GPD considers using 8Y30 Amber Lake 14 nanometer Y series Intel with an NVIDIA MX150 or a potential MX250, yeah, we could see a Win 3 in 2019 or early 2020. Will GPD make a Win 3 with a discrete NVIDIA GPU? I honestly don't know. The only thing I am certain of is if GPD decides to bet on Intel, there won't be a Win 3 until late 2020 at the earliest. Thanks for watching.